Okay, family, I'm going to try to do this for the last time. Since it's been a while since I've done some videos and all, broadcaster stuff is not working like I was hoping it was going to. So, I'm going to be reading some quotes from allgreatquotes.com. This one is from a Navajo medicine man, White Feather. Native American isn't blood. It is what is in the heart. The love for the land, the respect for it. Those who inhabit it, and the respect and acknowledgement of the spirits and elders. That is what it is to be Indian. So, I've noticed a lot of people are saying, oh, it has to do with the color of the skin. Uh, you're not native because you're white. You're not native because you're black. Blah, 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 blah. Well, this is what it is to be Indian. It's not your blood. It's what's in your heart. The love for the land. The respect for it. Those who inhabit it. And the respect and acknowledgement of the spirits and elders. Now I know there's some people out there bashing on at least one person that I see as an elder. But not a lot I can do about that. Except give some of these quotes. Because half the stuff that y'all are bringing in is about church or some type of religious aspect. And in that case, from Chief Joseph of the Nez Pierce, he says, We do not want churches because they will teach us to quarrel about God. Makes a lot of sense, I think. There's always uh, the Ogallala Lakota chief, Luther Standing Bear. The world was a library, and its books were the stones, leaves, grass, brooks, and the birds and animals that shared, alike with us, the storms and blessings of earth. We learned to do what only the student of nature learns, and that was to feel beauty. Anywhere in there that talk about any kind of anger, violence, hatred? I mean, if we want one for anger and all that, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can find one. Let's see. Crazy Horse has some good ones. We did not ask you, white men, to come here. The Great Spirit gave us this country as a home. You had yours. We did not interfere with you. We do not want your civilization. One does not sell the earth upon which the people walk. Another one from Crazy Horse. We preferred our own way of living. We were no expense to the government. All we wanted was peace and to be left alone. I see a time of seven generations 
when all the colors of mankind will gather under the sacred tree of life, and the whole earth will become one circle again. You know, there's a lot of nice quotes out there. The last one I'm going to read is probably going to be from Chief Tecumseh. Other than going back to the original quote that I did from White Feather. I guess my computer didn't realize I hit the backspace. Okay. Sell a country. Well, not sell the air. The great sea, as well as the earth. Did not the great spirit make them for the use of his children? That'd be all of us. How about this one? When Jesus Christ came upon the earth, you killed him. The son of your own God. And only after he was dead did you worship him. And start killing those who would not. That's from Tecumseh. There was a good one that I saw that kind of made me laugh a little bit because I've seen it on t-shirts but they never have who said it. Well, I can't find it right off the top of my head, so I'll go back to my original one from the Navajo Medicine Man, White Feather. Native American isn't blood. It is what is in the heart. The love for the land. The respect for it. Those who inhabit it. And the respect and acknowledgement of the spirits and elders. That is what it is to be Indian. Well, see, my main elder hails from Muscular Apache. So, if you have to, go back through, watch it two or three times. Let the quotes of these fine people burn through you and be a soft pillow for you to sleep on. You can find them at allgreatquotes.com. Just look up Native American quotes. Bye.